Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is Ryan Makes Sense, where we talk about personal finance, investing, and chart analysis. Today, we're actually gonna be looking at ticker symbol TJX. They literally just had earnings, and I wanna show you what I think the stock could be doing. Uh, we're also gonna see if the current price of the stock, $99, is on the higher end or the lower end. We'll look at the financial metrics to see uh, exactly where we think the price could go. Uh, and also if institutions and hedge funds are purchasing or selling. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on in. All right, you guys, we are looking at uh, ticker symbol TJX. Let me move my head. All right, uh, as of uh, Sunday, market close Friday, the stock is $99. Uh, the chart definitely looks like a hangman on the daily chart. Crazy. Uh, let's look at the monthly. I typically like to look at the bigger picture and then dive in from there. Holy cow. This stock has just rocketed up. Wow. All right. Um, I could see one huge ascending triangle here. Wow. We could take it like right there if we wanted, or we could just do that. This is pretty crazy. Um, so what I would want to see if someone waiting to get into this stock, potentially a bounce off of this line somewhere in the future. I don't know when in the future that is because this thing looks like it's on a freaking roll. Support there. I mean, this thing is just unstoppable, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like it's definitely escaped the potential bearishness and it's just up and onward. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is just scroll down a little bit. Uh, the strength is there, the strength is continuing upward. That's great. Momentum just ripping up. Uh, money flow actually looks kind of flat. Um, it's been flat, it looks like, since November 2023, which is interesting. You can see money flow has just been kind of flat. Uh, relative momentum is hot. So this thing is uh, riding into the sunset. Uh, looking at the shares outstanding, you can see this is decreasing, which is good. They are not uh, diluting sh retail shareholders. Sales, this is good. It looks like it's just going up and to the right. Uh, EPS, this is interesting. 2021 just kind of fell off a cliff, but everything is back to normal. <laughs> don't don't notice anything here. Uh, so this looks fairly reasonable. Uh, so what we're going to do now is look at what the stock price should be. Uh, I'm basing this calculation. I used to work off out of, at a micro cap company. We had uh, financial people come in and value the stock based off of sales. Every 100 million in sales equals $1 in stock. I've carried that across uh, how I value stocks going forward. And I include the market cap in the calculation as long as it's over 1 billion. We can see TJX has 113 billion in market cap. So uh, the fair stock price of TJX, drum roll, we're gonna do a very long drum roll. And everything is going to be shorthand because everything's in billions. <laughs> so 113.26 billion in market cap plus 4 billion, 111 million in income. Good for them. Plus 52 billion, 333 million in sales. Great. Uh, now we're going to take the cash and the debt and uh, include it. All right, uh, cash they have on hand is plus five point, so five billion four hundred and seventy-seven million. Total debt, I'm guessing maybe a billion. Total debt's three point three five nine billion. And just looking at their total assets, they have twenty nine point three, twenty eight point three billion in assets. Total liabilities twenty one point nine billion in assets so they have about a seven billion dollar buffer there which is okay i typically like to see two to ten x buffer but uh being that this is uh, a long-standing income producing stock uh this is totally fair so now going to our um 
shares out oh, shares float we're going to take this divide it by 1.14 so we're looking at a fair share price of about 150 dollars per share the stock is 99 dollars, which is insanity uh who has price targets here so piper sandler 110 evercore telesy advisory 105 so my 150 mark seems very doable the big question i have now which is probably what you have what are institutions and hedge funds doing uh they are tjx i'm gonna tell you so institutions currently right now own 93.94 percent of tjx that's old data and what I'm going to be showing you here is new data because the data that I'm going to show you has 13F tax filings, uh, ownership filings coming in daily. So uh, 93.94 is the old number, 103.5 is the new number. And you can see it looks like they are at about what they've historically been in terms of institutional ownership. Uh, and overall, it's about a 10% increase. 93% to 103%. So that's great. Uh, big money, probably Vanguard owns 96 million shares. Crazy. Wellington owns 51 million shares and BlackRock owns 87 million shares. Absolute insanity, insanity, insanity. Just the filings coming in every day are just huge. So you guys can do your own research on fintel.io forward slash so forward slash us forward slash the ticker symbol tjx so uh my 150 dollar price target um that's i mean this thing looks like a freaking wrecking ball uh i think we probably see 150 in 2024 that's my opinion they're obviously killing it i mean look at this up and to the right so let me know what you guys think is 150 too high do you think it's less give me your thoughts Consider subscribing, consider hitting the like, leave a comment. I hope the stock went the way you wanted it to today. Have a good one.